There are many things people do that can harm their dogs, and sometimes it's not intentional. Owning a dog is one of the greatest joys in life, providing companionship and unconditional love. Unfortunately, not everyone treats their dogs with the same respect they deserve. In this video, we'll go over 17 things people need to stop doing to their dogs immediately because they're not good for them and how we can all work together to ensure our furry friends stay healthy and happy. Let us know which thing you do if you want to stop. Comment down below. Especially numbers 14 and 15 are things you need to take seriously and stop them. Before we start, subscribe to this channel and hit the like button to see more videos like this. We also want to offer you a free digital copy of our Happy Dog Handbook, The Essential Guide for Dog Owners. This handbook helps to provide dogs with everything they need to live the healthiest and happiest life possible. Click the first link in the description to get your copy. So without further ado, let's get started. Thing number one, waking them from sleeping. That can disrupt a pup's natural sleep cycle, resulting in behavioral issues if left unchecked for too long. Instead of waking a sleeping pup abruptly, pet parents should gently rouse them from their slumber by calling out softly while slowly stroking them until they wake up naturally. This way, the transition into wakefulness is less jarring for the pup compared to an abrupt startle, which could cause fear or anxiety. Additionally, establishing a regular sleep schedule for your furry friend helps ensure that he or she gets enough restful sleep each day, allowing it to feel refreshed and energized during its waking hours. Thing number two, hugging. Dogs don't always appreciate being hugged as humans do. It's often an uncomfortable experience for them. Even you might not like to hear this. Canine body language is very different from our own. When we hug a dog, they interpret it as us trying to control or dominate them. Instead of hugs, pet parents should offer rewards like belly rubs and verbal praise, which will make the pup much more relaxed and content. Thing number three, avoid nail clipping. It may be tempting to ignore your pup's nails when they are not visibly overgrown because of how uncomfortable the activity can be for some dogs. However, neglected nails can become cracked, split, and painful for the animal, leading to further health problems down the road. To avoid this discomfort, it's important for pet parents to keep up with regular nail trims so that their pup's feet remain healthy and comfortable no matter where they go. Thing number four, being predictable with games. Dogs are intelligent animals who thrive off of mental stimulation. Allowing them to become bored or complacent can cause issues ranging from destructive chewing habits to aggressive outbursts. To keep your pup entertained and engaged, try introducing new activities such as agility courses or doggy puzzles in addition to traditional toys like balls or chew bones. Changing up playtime routines regularly will help ensure that your furry friend remains attentive and happy. Thing number five, forcing friendships with other dogs. Forcing dogs together without proper introductions can lead to serious aggression issues between them down the line. Although canine socialization is an important part of a pup's development, it should be done gradually and properly supervised at all times. Veterinarians recommend that pet parents follow a systematic approach when introducing two dogs. That includes allowing the pups to sniff each other first before letting them interact more closely under controlled conditions, such as going side by side on leashes while being walked together. Thing number six, changing rules. Pet parents must establish consistent rules like no jumping up on furniture or people, no barking excessively, and no biting so that the pup knows what behaviors are acceptable and which ones won't be tolerated. Additionally, being consistent with verbal cues like no or stop when correcting negative behaviors will help reinforce boundaries without resorting to physical punishment. Establishing a routine for playtime activities is also beneficial in helping your pup get accustomed to following specific instructions regarding when play begins and ends. This way, your furry friend understands that limits must be adhered to for them to remain happy and healthy. Thing number seven, long photo shoots. Pet owners should avoid scheduling long photo shoots with their pups as this can be incredibly taxing on both their patience and energy levels. It's important for pet owners to remember that dogs aren't nearly as expressive as humans and tend to tire easily when posed for extended periods of time. 
similar to how a person would feel after holding an awkward pose for an extended period of time. Additionally, photo shoots can often require uncomfortable props or odd angles, which can create feelings of anxiety in pups who are not used to having strange objects placed around them or being positioned differently than usual. To minimize stress levels during photo shoots, pet owners should ensure that they provide plenty of breaks and positive reinforcement during the session, while also making sure that the props provided are safe and comfortable for their pup to be around. Thing number eight, using scents in the house that dogs hate. This can be incredibly harmful to their well-being as they often have an incredibly sensitive sense of smell. This can cause them to feel overwhelmed or uncomfortable, leading to destructive behaviors such as barking and chewing on furniture. To ensure that the pup's environment isn't too overwhelming for it, pet owners should avoid using any strong perfumes or chemical cleaning agents around the pup's space. Instead, opting for natural scent removers such as vinegar and baking soda. Thing number nine, complex emotions. Those are difficult for dogs to process, leading to confusion and fear if not properly attended to. Pet parents must take extra special care when exposing their pup to complex emotions such as joy, anger, sadness, etc. It's important that pet owners are aware of their own feelings when interacting with their pup so that it doesn't become too overwhelmed by the situation. Instead of becoming frustrated with its inability to understand what's happening, pet owners should focus on remaining calm and understanding while providing plenty of love and affection to help keep things positive. Thing number 10, skimping on chew toys. Chew toys provide much needed relief from teething pains while helping keep your pup's teeth clean and healthy, which helps prevent dental problems later in life. Additionally, chew toys provide a great outlet for pups during times of stress or boredom, which helps relieve anxiety and encourages positive behaviors in return. Pet owners should always make sure that they provide their pup with plenty of options for chew toys, such as rubber rings or hard bones, so that they don't become bored or frustrated due to a lack of appropriate outlets for their energy. Thing number 11, smoke in front of dogs. Dog owners should avoid smoking in the presence of their pups as it can be harmful to their health. Secondhand smoke can lead to respiratory and cardiac illnesses, eye irritation, and even cancer, all of which can be extremely difficult for dogs to handle. Additionally, dogs have an incredibly sensitive sense of smell and may become overwhelmed or anxious if they are exposed to too much cigarette smoke. Pet owners should always ensure that they take measures to ensure that their pup is kept safe from secondhand smoke by either avoiding smoking in its presence altogether or taking the necessary steps to ventilate the room properly before the pup is allowed back in. Thing number 12, telling them to quit barking. Yelling at a dog for barking without explaining why this behavior is not acceptable is ineffective and cruel. Dog barks are often used as a means of communication, whether it's out of excitement, fear, or boredom. So punishing them for using it could result in confusion or anxiety, making the pup more likely to bark even more. Instead, pet owners should take the time to train their pups on what behaviors are allowed and when, so that they understand when and why certain behaviors are not appropriate. Additionally, providing positive reinforcement when your pup behaves appropriately helps ensure that desired behaviors continue occurring over time. Thing number 13, apportioning blame. Blaming your dog for something it did wrong isn't going to provide useful information about how it should behave in the future. Instead, it will only create further confusion and negative feelings toward its owner. Pet owners must take responsibility for their pup's bad behaviors by understanding why it is engaging in said behavior rather than simply blaming them for it. That includes ensuring that basic needs such as exercise and mental stimulation are met daily. If these needs aren't fulfilled, there is a greater chance of behavior issues arising over time due to a lack of stimulation or frustration. Additionally, providing positive reinforcement when your pup engages in desirable behavior helps encourage said behavior over time, while also aiding in building trust between you and your furry friend. Thing number 14, going for walks when it's really hot. Dogs can easily become overheated when walking during extremely hot days due to their thick fur coats that trap heat close to their body core. 
This could lead to exhaustion or heat stroke if the pet parent does not manage properly. When temperatures reach extreme levels outside, it's best to stick with shorter walks indoors in air-conditioned spaces or early morning strolls before things heat up too much during the day. Additionally, providing plenty of water and shade stops along the way is essential in ensuring your pup stays safe during those summer months. Thing number 15, allowing leash pulling. It is a common mistake made by pet owners and can be dangerous for both the owner and their pup. Not only can it lead to injury, but it can also inhibit positive behavior training. For starters, dogs should never be allowed to pull on leashes. Instead, they should remain walking or running beside their owner at all times. Proper training and reinforcement of commands such as heel or sit are essential in making sure your pup understands that they need to follow you while out on walks. Additionally, having a good fitting collar and harness will help ensure your pup doesn't get too excited and try to run ahead during walks. Thing number 16, not setting boundaries. It's important for pet parents to establish rules like no jumping up on furniture or people, no barking excessively and no biting. This way, the pup knows what behaviors are acceptable and what won't be tolerated. Dog parents should also use verbal cues like no or stop when connecting negative behaviors to show the pup what is expected of them without resorting to physical punishment. Thing number 17, dress them. Dog owners should avoid dressing their pups in clothing or other uncomfortable and restricting accessories. While some dogs may enjoy wearing clothes or sweaters, it's important to ensure that the garments fit properly and allow unrestricted movement. If a pup constantly struggles to move due to its clothing, it can cause physical and mental pain that can lead to behavioral issues over time. Additionally, pet owners should always consider how the garment could affect their pup's temperature as clothing that is too tight or heavy can prevent heat from circulating properly, which may cause health issues like hypothermia if left unattended for too long. Now we're at the end of this video. Please leave a like and subscribe to this channel. And if you got value from this video, you'll also like the next one. Thanks for spending time with us.